Hello. I am the storyteller. And today we will talk about Turin. Turin is a city and an important business and cultural center in northern Italy. It is the capital city of Piedmont and of the metropolitan city of Turin, and was the first Italian capital from 1861 to 1865. The city is located mainly on the western bank of the Po River, in front of Susa Valley, and is surrounded by the Western Alpine Arch and Superga Hill. The population of the city proper is 875,698 while the population of the urban area is estimated by Eurostat to be 1.7 million inhabitants. The Turin metropolitan area is estimated by the OECD to have a population of 2.2 million. The city used to be a major European political center. From 1563 it was the capital of the Duchy of Savoy, then of the Kingdom of Sardinia ruled by the House of Savoy, and the first capital of the Kingdom of Italy from 1861 to 1865. Turin is sometimes called the cradle of Italian liberty for having been the birthplace and home of notable individuals who contributed to the Risorgimento, such as Cavour. Even though much of its political significance and importance had been lost by World War II, Turin became a major European crossroad for industry, commerce and trade, and is part of the famous industrial triangle along with Milan and Genoa. Turin is ranked third in Italy, after Milan and Rome, for economic strength. With a GDP of $58 billion, Turin is the world's 78th richest city by purchasing power. As of 2018 the city has been ranked by God Dubsi as a Gamma World City. Turin is also home to much of the Italian automotive industry, with the headquarters of Fiat, Lancia, and Alfa Romeo. The city has a rich culture and history, being known for its numerous art galleries, restaurants, churches, palaces, opera houses, piazzas, parks, gardens, theaters, libraries, museums, and other venues. Turin is well known for its Renaissance, Baroque, Rococo, Neoclassical, and Art Nouveau architecture. Many of Turin's public squares, castles, gardens, and elegant palazzi such as the Palazzo Madama, were built between the 16th and 18th centuries. A part of the historical center of Turin was inscribed in the World Heritage List under the name Residences of the Royal House of Savoy. In addition, the city is home to museums such as the Museo Egizio and the Mole Antonelliana which in turn hosts the Museo Nazionale del Cinema. Turin's attractions make it one of the world's top 250 tourist destinations and the 10th most visited city in Italy in 2008. The city also hosts some of Italy's best universities, colleges, academies, lycea and gymnasia, such as the University of Turin, founded in the 15th century, and the Turin Polytechnic. Turin is well known as the home of the Shroud of Turin the football team's Juventus F. C. and Torino F. C., and as host of the 2006 Winter Olympics. The Torini were an ancient Celto-Ligurian Alpine people, who occupied the upper valley of the Po River, in the center of modern Piedmont. In 218 BC, they were attacked by Hannibal as he was allied with their long-standing enemies, the Incibers. The Torini chief town was captured by Hannibal's forces after a three-day siege. As a people they are rarely mentioned in history. It is believed that a Roman colony was established after 28 BC under the name of Julia Augusta Torinorum. Both Livy and Strabo mention the Torini's country as including one of the passes of the Alps, which points to a wider use of the name in earlier times. In the 1st century BC, the Romans founded Augusta Torinorum. The typical Roman street grid can still be seen in the modern city, especially in the neighborhood known as the Quadrilatero Romano. Via Garibaldi traces the exact path of the Roman city's decumanus which began at the Porta de Cumani, later incorporated into the Castello or Palazzo Madama. The Porta Palatina, on the north side of the current city centre, is still preserved in a park near the cathedral. Remains of the Roman period theatre are preserved in the area of the Manican Mova. Turin reached about 5,000 inhabitants at the time, all living inside the high city walls. After the fall of the Western Roman Empire, the town was conquered by the Heruli and the Ostrogoths, recaptured by the Romans, but then conquered again by the Lombards and then the Franks of Charlemagne. The Contia di Torino was founded in the 940s and was held by the Arduinic dynasty until 1050. After the marriage of Adelaide of Susa with Humbert Biancomano's son Otto, the family of the Counts of Savoy gained control. While the title of Count was held by the bishop as Count of Turin it was ruled as a prince bishopric by the bishops. In 1230-1235 it was a lordship under the Marquis of Montferrat, styled Lord of Turin. At the end of the 13th century, when it was annexed to the Duchy of Savoy, the city already had 20,000 inhabitants. Many of the gardens and palaces were built in the 15th century when the city was redesigned. The University of Turin was also founded during this period. Emmanuel Philibert, also known under the nickname of Iron Head, made Turin the capital of the Duchy of Savoy in 1563. 
Piazza Real and Via Nuova were added along with the first enlargement of the walls, in the first half of the 17th century, in the same period the Palazzo Real was also built. In the second half of that century, a second enlargement of the walls was planned and executed, with the building of the arcaded Via Po, connecting Piazza Castello with the bridge on the Po through the regular street grid. In 1706, during the Battle of Turin, the French besieged the city for 117 days without conquering it. By the Treaty of Utrecht the Duke of Savoy acquired Sicily, soon traded for Sardinia, and part of the former Duchy of Milan, and was elevated to king, thus Turin became the capital of a European kingdom. The architect Filippo Juvara began a major redesign of the city, Turin had about 90,000 inhabitants at the time. Turin, like the rest of Piedmont, was annexed by the French Empire in 1802. The city thus became the seat of the prefecture of Po department until the fall of Napoleon in 1814, when the kingdom of Piedmont Sardinia was restored with Turin as its capital. The 1871 opening of the Frejus Tunnel made Turin an important communication node between Italy and France. The city in that period had 250,000 inhabitants. The late 19th century was also a period of rapid industrialization, especially in the automotive sector. In 1899 Fiat was established in the city, followed by Lancia in 1906. The Universal Exposition held in Turin in 1902 is often regarded as the pinnacle of Art Nouveau design, and the city hosted the same event in 1911. By this time, Turin had grown to 430,000 inhabitants. Turin was then a target of Allied strategic bombing during World War II, being heavily damaged by the air raids in its industrial areas as well as in the city center. Along with Milan, Genoa, and La Spezia, Turin was one of Italy's four cities that experienced area bombing by the RAF. The heaviest raid took place on July 13, 1943, when 295 bombers dropped 763 tons of bombs, killing 792 people. Overall, these raids killed 2,069 inhabitants of Turin, and destroyed or damaged 54% of all buildings in the city. Turin was not captured by the Allies until the end of Spring Offensive of 1945. In the post-war years, Turin was rapidly rebuilt. The city's automotive industry played a pivotal role in the Italian economic miracle of the 1950s and 1960s, attracting hundreds of thousands of immigrants to the city, particularly from the rural southern regions of Italy. The number of immigrants was so big that Turin was said to be the third southern Italian city after Naples and Palermo. The exceptional growth gains of the city gained it the nickname of the automobile capital of Italy and the Detroit of Italy. The long population decline of the city has begun to reverse itself only in recent years, as the population grew from 865,000 to slightly over 900,000 by the end of the century. In 2006, Turin hosted the Winter Olympic Games.